Okay, welcome back. Let's look at um, exercise three. So if you have the sample files, go ahead and open up uh, example three, I mean. Okay, so you can see all I've done here is I've created two unordered lists uh, and uh, made links. So most of the time, uh, lists of links are created as unordered lists or bulleted lists. So, uh, and one of the most common things CSS is used for is to style these links. So let's just kind of go through that process here quick um, so you can start getting familiar with it. So I'm going to start off with this top list and um, make this top list a uh, uh, sort of the default. So, um, so you can see there's a few tags here. So there's a UL tag over here. So um, that's the first thing I'm going to style. So I'm going to select that UL, click the plus, uh, new style. And it's a tag, so I'm going to redefine the tag. Okay, so there is um, a couple things I can do here. So first, there's a whole category for list. So I want to take off um, that bullet. I don't want that to show up. So if I go to list style type in the list category and say none, and apply. And since this is since I am redefining the tag, I can. Um, um, it affects both of them, both both unordered lists. Okay. There also um, is could be some padding and margin here, some default stuff. So I'm just going to zero all this stuff out um, so that I can put it back on in just the way that I want it to. Okay. So that's all I need to do for the uh, for the UL. Okay, now um, you can see I've redefined that. So let's go in now and define what the link looks like. So I'm going to select the A tag, click the plus, and say that I want to redefine um, a tag there. And I've got to get the A tag up. Okay. All right, so here's where I can control what this is going to look like. Um, you know what, I'm going to cancel that for a second and, and click on uh, New again. Uh, because there's some pre-made stuff here that'll save some time. So we could go to the A tag, the tag here, and redefine just what the plain A tag is. But if you look under Compound, you'll see that there are um, a bunch of options here. Uh, so Compound will will allow me to see how some very specific rules. So this says um, redefine the A tag if it's inside of a list item of an unordered list or just inside of a list item. Uh, the three that I'm interested in right now are these three down here. This old A colon link, um, A colon visited, and A colon hover. Because that gives me a nice little package of and active so that the, the, all the different states that a link can be. So I'm going to select this A colon link and click OK. So this style, this A colon link style, defines what these links look like when they are um, just on the page, it's the default look. So right now the default look is blue and underlined. Maybe I wanted to change that. I'm going to take the underline off. Oh, I didn't really mean to click OK there. I meant to click Apply. OK, so I take the underline off. And then maybe I decide to match my site better. I want these links to be a little different color. So maybe they're going to be a, a sort of a dark green. OK, so that's what the links are going to look like. Um, and there's a lot of stuff we can do. I'm going to keep it simple on this first one. So I'm going to click OK. So now all the links on my page are going to be um, no underline and have this color. So I'm going to create another style and go right to the compound again and use the A colon visited because I need to uh, define what it's going to look like after it's been visited. The default is purple and underlined. And actually, I don't really need um, I, I just want it to be the same. So I want no underline and that same dark green there. Okay, so the visited color is going to be exactly like the just the plain link color. Now here's where it gets interesting and here's where you can do something you cannot do with standard HTML. So I'm going to add a third style to this package and you may have noticed there was one called hover. So hover is what this link looks like when the mouse is over it. So maybe in this case I want the, un the underline to come back on and I want the link to change to a nice dark blue. Okay, Okay. so you can see I've, I've created three 
a little package of three styles up there that all apply to the A tag. So the link, the visit it, and the hover, which each one of those is going to look like. Now if we just click to live view here, you can see that's what the style is. So now all the links on this page, all these, all the links, you can see I've just redefined the, the link there. So any link that I put on will get this um, effect. So for instance, if I ended up um, putting in another uh, bit of text here, let's just say I was working and I wanted to make that into a link. When I make it, as soon as I make it into a link, it automatically gets this new style that I've created over it. It follows these rules that I've set up. So if I do it, it has the same rollover as these. So that's where I'm actually changing the default here um, of, of, of all, the, all the links. So let's, um, I want to divide this up a little bit. Um, let me go back here. I'm going to spread that out a bit. So I've got two sets here. This bottom set, maybe I want it to look different. I want it to look different than this, th than the default. Okay, so that's where I'm going to need to kind of create a, um, it's kind of like a class for these, for these objects. So if I go and click, um, so if I go inside there um, and I click a new CSS rule and go to compound again, you'll see that it wants to define, um, you know what, cancel that for just a second. I'm going to start off and I'm just going to make a class. So this is going to be maybe my second um, type of um, links. Okay, so I just create this class um, and maybe I want all these links inside of this class to be Verdana. Okay? So I've just created this, this simple style called second that when applied it will make all the text Verdana. Okay, so let's go here and apply that. So I'm going to apply that to that unordered list. So that unordered list actually forms a box, so that the UL tags. So if I select that here and apply this class to it, the one I named second, you'll see those all the text inside of there change to, to that to that font. Okay, so with that started like that, now I can um, create some styles to go with that. So I'm going to click inside, get this A tag selected, and when I click this plus over here, you'll see if I'm in that compound, okay, I want to be in compound, it writes um, this selector for me that says um, what I'm going to create, the rule that I'm going to create now will apply to any A tag as long as that A tag is inside of a list item, which it is, because I've got a, a list over here, and if it's inside of um, the class second. And you can see second is applied to this UL container, so everything inside of it um, is going to be specified. So um, um, that would work. I can also come down here to a colon link and I can just add that second space in there. So it says I'm creating a rule that will apply to any link that is inside of a container that has the second class applied to it. Um, and you can see that. So I'm creating a style that'll, that'll style this link right here that happens to be inside of this one called this unit called second. Okay. Um, so I'm going to click OK to that. All right. So I don't need to change the font. I've already got that set up. Um, but let's say that I just wanted to change um, the color of the text. So maybe these links need to be purple. Uh, and um, I want them to have. Uh, That'll be fine. Let's just keep it simple first here. So purple, and I need to create another style here. Go to compound, and for visited, but I want them to match up. So I'm going to add that dot second space to the front. Okay, so it's creating a little package, um, and the visited. I think I'll just have the visited be that same color. Okay. I don't want it to change. 
click OK, and now I need to create the hover. So you remember I got to create three, like up here I created a link, visit, visited, and hover, and now I'm creating a link, visited, and hover, but these ones are part of this dot second class. Okay, so let's go down, I'm going to create the, whoops, that's the wrong button. I'm gonna click the plus, and go to compound, and to hover, and to make sure that it groups up with these other ones. I give it the same class name, so dot second a colon hover. And um, I think I'd like the underline to come back on and I'll have this link um, when they roll over it, I'm gonna have it turn a dark green. How about that color? Okay, so I've created those three rules. I created this top one here that, that I applied um, to this UL. So I've got this whole package of stuff right here um, that I've just formatted with those four rules. And let's just check it and see what it looks like um, when it's active. So now I've got two different kinds of links um, that, goes, that, that happen there. The default, which is um, this green and it rolls over to a dark blue, this um, custom class or this cu class that I've created that is here um, creates this look. So let's say I create a new link. Oh, Got to get out of live view. Create a new link here. Um, let me just put a fake one in for a second, and it automatically picks up this default color. But if I decided, you know, gosh, I want this link to to um, have the other style, I can apply that second to it and now it has um, this other style that is happening. You can see it got bold and big. Um, okay, uh, so that's at least getting started with styling links. We'll do uh, quite a bit more of um, this, this idea of styling with uh, creating styles and rules for links. Um, have a couple whole tutorials on that.